<laughs> hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome my name is Jessica I'm glad to have you here if you're a current subscriber welcome back I'm glad you're here as well if you're not yet subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload so before I get into today's video um, I do want to um, talk about a few things. Um, first of all, I've reached seven, almost 725 subscribers, might be more than that by now. Um, and also, if you're from West Virginia and you're in the Charleston area, you may already know, uh, we had a police officer that was shot and killed in the line of duty on Tuesday morning. Um, she was responding to a call of someone parked weird or whatever um and the person um shot her in they said it shot her in the face um so y'all wouldn't care she passed away yesterday afternoon at 4 p.m um at camc general hospital and if y'all wouldn't care to keep um, the family of Cassie Johnson. I will try to insert her picture at the end of this video. Um, so let's get into today's video. I'm going to kind of talk about something that I've seen a couple other YouTubers talk about and it kind of seems kind of like a hot topic I guess besides the snap max allotment. I mean that is trying to build a like a food emergency type thing like where you can set three months or more a year worth of food um, back so what I usually try to do and this is just what I've done in the years past is um, some months I will get like 12 cans of whatever can food that we use and that will do us three months so for three months but in those three months I still do kind of replenish what we use and my tip for that is don't get something that you're not going your family or you are not going to eat get the things that you guys do eat and that way you know it doesn't just sit on your shelf and go to waste something else that we do is the months that I'm not really buying my canned stuff in bulk we have a meat market called Johnny's Meat Market and I will go there and get their big package of meat and that meat will last us for three months. So um, I'm only actually really buying meat and on the months that I'm not buying those that big package I'll get like filler meat and to keep kind of filling the gaps of what we do use. Um, but there again with that don't get any meat that your family don't eat. Just get what y'all do eat. Um, as far as like flour and sugar, I do get 25 pound bags because I do a lot of baking and that actually lasts us anywhere from two to three months depending on what I'm baking. Like at this time of year at Christmas, I do a lot of baking of cookies, peanut butter fudge and things like that because we have a tradition here, well my mom started it and I just carried it over with my kids is we bake cookies and we do up little goodie boxes or tins or containers whatever and that's what we give out people for Christmas from uh, my family so that's a tr family tradition that we've always done just to give you an idea um, no I'm not trying to participate in vlogmas I tried it last year it was a big flunk um, so this year I do not to even try vlogmas I might do 12 days of Christmas or something but to vlog for 25 days um, that's gonna be a little little hard when you have two kids that are trying to do school and you have two dogs that you got to walk every two to three hours plus maintain the house so um, that is my plan so around December 12th which is next week I think um, I will try to do um, 12 days of Christmas and talk about things that we have 
have kept doing since my mom had started it. Some things that we've adapted since we've had kids. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos I have three stepsons. Well, actually two because one passed away. But um, my husband's ex-wife, his daughter, we've actually, I mean her daughter, we've actually included in as part of our kids even though she's not biologically his we still try to include her in our christmas stuff and try and buy her something for her birthday and for christmas because her birthday is in january right after christmas so usually whatever we get her we tell her hey you know this is your christmas and birthday together um so anyway let's get back to the food stuff um as far as cereals and stuff go, those I just buy on a month-to-month -month basis because um, we don't like eating the same cereal all the time. Um, as far as oatmeal, I don't get it every month because, again, it's something that my kids don't eat regularly. Um, bread, I try to keep 8 to 10 loaves in my freezer. That way, if my husband's at work or it's late in the evening and we need bread, I can just pull it out the deep freezer. I, we did buy a deep freezer right before my mom passed. Um, so we've had it about four years. We actually bought a deep freezer because we knew we, was going, we had five people in our house at the time and we would go to Sam's and get groceries and stuff and we figured it was easier to have that and be able to fill it up instead of um, using a, our small freezer that we had with the automatic ice maker in it. Um, and that's something else. If you can afford to get a deep freezer, even if it's a stand-up freezer, and um, a little each month, buy an extra pack of hamburger, extra pack of chicken, what have you. Um, I know right now food prices, especially on meat, are kind of high. Um, some things look like it may be going down, but still, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and some places are charging out the wool law for meat. Um, but what we, what I try to do is, um, I haven't been to Johnny's Meat Market for a while. Um, with this whole pandemic going on, they've had an employee get the COVID get COVID and they had to shut down um, on Sundays. I'm not sure if they're open on Sundays now, but for a while they have been open on Sundays and where everybody is going, getting their meat packages, they run out of meat faster. Um, and then with, we have a program here in West Virginia, not all the farmers markets are participating, but the capital market in Charleston is to where you get um, snap stretch where if you spend a certain amount of dollar they will meet that and give you that like give you like half back or something like that to spend on whatever you can use it for fresh fruits and vegetables or meat or whatever you want and we have a place in our capital in the capital market here called the purple onion they have fresh fruits and vegetables they have my kids like going because they have like the bulk candy that you can weigh and buy um something else that we try to do is we go to sam's and get like my kids lunch stuff and that way um, i'm not constantly trying to go to the school now our schools here in canal county of west virginia they do run buses that deliver lunches for kids that are e-learners and virtual learners. Um, but there's some days, like today it's raining, that we don't really get to make it out there to the bus stop. Um, if it's really cold and snowing, I'm not gonna go out there and stand because I have arthritis really bad. And um, now I'm dealing with carpal tunnel issues. So it's when it's rainy and it's cold and snowing and stuff, um, it's kind of hard for me to tolerate the cold. Um, so, that's going to be all my few little tips. And that's, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Friday. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Going to do something maybe with your family. Looking at Christmas lights. And I will see you Monday in that video. 
and have a great Friday and a great weekend.